We know that high gas prices are driving up the cost for a trip to the grocery store, but they're also driving up costs at the bar. Reporter Carly Swain explains. The Hugh Morton Mango Lager. The Leaderboard Trophy Lager. The Old Well White. And each of them could cost you a little bit more at the bar. The price of hops, a key ingredient in beer making, has doubled in recent weeks. Prices for malt and barley are up too. John Withy is a brewer at Top of the Hill Restaurant and Brewery. He says customers can expect house specialties to cost a bit more at many microbreweries, but not at Top of the Hill. Uh, for Top of the Hill, it's not a problem because we've got we've had the sense to contract each year. The people who haven't been contracting, thinking there's an endless supply of hops, are in trouble. So for some bars, the prices are going up, but that's only a temporary change, right? Wrong. For the past decade, there's been an oversupply of hops, and some farmers decided to plant corn instead to meet those high demands for ethanol. So that just means beer drinkers are going to have to wait out the shortage until harvest time. And your bar tab at a microbrewery across the globe isn't going to be much different. There was a low yield in the States. Hailstorms damaged crops in Europe, and Australia had its worst drought on record. But even if prices do go up, Withy says top of the hill customers are loyal. The place is vibrant. It's got a great atmosphere. The kind of atmosphere that's worth more than 50 cents. In Chapel Hill, I'm Carly Swain, Carolina Week. You know, that's kind of a shame because uh, those microbreweries like Top of the Hill have really good beers. Yeah, a lot of college students really watching this, paying attention because it could, uh, it could really hit home. Yes, it could. That does it for this edition of Carolina Week. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night.